Hi and welcome back. My name is Dhwani and I'm a second year student of pharmacy at the University of Sussex. So I've got a few texts and a few DMs asking me questions about Sussex and I was talking to my friend recently and uh, I didn't want to I didn't think I would do this but after talking to her I realized this was a really good video to do so here are answers to some very popular Sussex questions So the first question that I get is why Sussex uh, so for me um uh, I always wanted to go to a uni that was um in the country not a big city uni had a campus and was not a city wide campus uni sort of so sussex fit those criteria plus it, being beachside it's not too cold and uh, it's a good temperature even in the winters for me so i definitely dig that about sussex Um another thing to consider was the beach was so close by the teaching was good for my course there were only like 22 25 kids in a class and um the South Downs National Park the Stanma Park and uh, other places to hike and stuff were really close by so if i wanted to go just for a day out or somewhere i could just get on a bus and go there So it's a beautiful town and it's a beautiful uni and uh, that is why I chose Sussex. The second question was um how's the teaching and how's your course being taught um throughout the years that you've been there. Um I do not speak for all the other courses this is only for my course and uh, uh we're one of the smallest batches in Sussex we're only 22 kids or 20 three kids now um and uh, honestly i wouldn't have asked for a better education at uni other than what i'm having right now all my teachers are absolutely amazing and i can go to them whenever i want and uh, being such a small class everybody knows each other so the environment in the class is really nice we're all friends and it's a good place to be in other sussex wide things that are um good i would say uh is that you get lectures workshops seminars and tutorials so you learn stuff in your lectures and then you implement it in your workshops and then you have case studies and stuff in your seminars so you consolidate your knowledge really well uh every student also has an academic advisor that you can go to in case you feel that you're lagging out in your studies or you need extra help or uh, with anything that you need academically you can go to them so that's a really good thing that i found um also your um uh, timetables and um exams are well managed and you have enough time to do your submissions um so i think that's another good thing that you'll always find at sussex the third most requested question and the king of questions here accommodation which accommodation is the best sussex on campus has a lot of accommodation options according to your liking and your rent paying budget if that makes sense So if you're looking for something on suite, uh you have Swanbro, Northfield, um Lewis Court and Stanmer Court. And if you're looking for shared bathrooms, you've got the Park Houses, Park Village, Brighthelm and uh, another section of the Lewis Court, I believe. Um so in my opinion, uh on suites are smaller because of the washroom being inside your room. and uh, the shared bathroom ones have larger rooms so i personally really like that and if you live in a shared bathroom situation you always have a sink in your room so you don't have to go out to do everything if that makes sense and um, so i personally lived in northfield my first year for a bit and then i lived in brighthelm So Northfield I believe the rent then was 156 pounds a week and um it was an ensuite accommodation we were six people in the house everybody had their own rooms and own bathrooms and we would share a kitchen and a living room um here are some pictures 
and Brightham was five people in the house. It was a townhouse style of apartment, whereas Northfield was like a flat. So we were five people in the house with two washrooms. So you only shared a washroom with like one other person. And uh, all of us had a shared kitchen and a shared living room. Uh, my room in Brighton was much larger than my room in Northfield. Like I had much more space in the room. Um, other and my rent in Brighton would be around 141 pounds a week. So that was much cheaper than Northfield uh, because it was not ensuite. Brighton also had a laundry in the house and a balcony in the house. Whereas Northfield, you would have to do laundry in a circuit laundry. You didn't have a laundrette in your apartment or anything. So yeah, I've lived in those two and I personally prefer Brighton um, over other accommodations because it's just like a townhouse. So it's, it feels like home. Plus you have a laundrette and a good living room and a kitchen space. So I think that worked out well for me. Next popular question is, what about laundry? So um, for people who live in Brighton, obviously they have their own laundrette, while all the other accommodation, there are circuit laundries on campus that you can use. Um, I believe the price for one full run is 320 pounds, or it used to be in my first year. And you have these top up laundry cards that you can top up anytime and you can tap and use. So every wash was three pounds 20. And uh, I believe if you were to use the dryer, that was another one pound 70. These are all prices in my first year because I never used circuit laundry after that. So every wash would come up to five pounds, uh, which I think is a bit expensive. Like, I don't think you should even use the dryer if you're gonna pay that much. The next big question that I had was what are the travel options while you're at campus and how do you go to Brighton and stuff? So the campus is located in near a railway station as well as multiple bus stops on campus. So the railway station can t has trains that go directly to Brighton or even to the airports and everything. So you're pretty much sorted there. Um, for the buses, you have specific bus numbers that come to campus, uh, which are 23, 25, 28, 29. I remember these on the top of my head. There may be others that might, oh, 50 also. Uh, there may be others that might be um, coming to campus that I'm not sure about. Um, for bus tickets, you usually have an app, which is the Brighton and Hope buses, and you can get a ticket priced uh, 3.75, I believe, uh, for a network saver. So basically, you can use that ticket for a whole of 24 hours and you can use the buses as many times as you like. You can also get a city saver for 3.40, but that's like a daytime ticket and you can't use it on night buses. These are all student prices. So yes, university students do have discounts. Um, they get a decent lease on the normal prices and you can get a ticket for one day, two day, a week, or even a month or 90 days, or you could even get a card for a whole year. So that might be cheaper if you're planning to live off campus or planning to go to Brighton every day or have a job or somehow you're going to use a bus every day. You could invest in those. And um, yeah, it's it's good. You can take the bus to pretty much anywhere and the 25, 28, 29 literally take you to town. Um, you don't have to change any bus. And um, if you want to go somewhere, the buses are quite efficient and you can just get down at the main stops and change for your next destination. It's quite simple. It's not that difficult. The next question is, where do you get your groceries and uh, is grocery expensive? Do you have a preference? So I personally get my grocery from Asda. I get it delivered or I if it's like just one or two things, I just run to the co-op that is on campus. So we do have a grocery store on campus, which is the co-op, but that's like super expensive for some reason. So usually I prefer going to town, going to Sainsbury, Tesco, Asda, 
or even Aldi to get groceries they're all uh, just one bus ride away so it's not too difficult to get to and you pretty much find everything that you'll need in any of the stores um, so yeah uh, groceries not that hard how's the freshers week uh, so freshers week at Sussex is one week long every year September the third week of September or the last week of September is usually the freshers week and trust me there are so many events and you'll definitely make friends and you'll find people to hang out with you'll find friends you'll find people like you if you're into going out staying in if you're into um, Harry Potter or if you're into some other pop culture trivia or anything you'll find your kind of people also the events are really nice they have escape rooms they have a peer party on the beach uh, there are club nights, there are pub crawls, uh, game nights, and every society has their events. So you'll definitely find something that you're going to like. And the Students' Union has more than 200 societies. So you're, you're probably going to find one that you like and one that um, you're interested in. Like, they have a K-pop society. They have a TikTok society. Like, it doesn't get more than that, you know? And the last question is, is Brighton safe? Um, I would say Brighton is safer than most towns in the UK. I've lived there for two years. I've had nights when I've come home alone after work or gone out for dinner to meet my friends and then come home alone late at night. And I've never had an issue. The buses are pretty safe. The trains are pretty safe. You can always Uber if you're feeling rich. Um, I would say it's a safe place like I've never felt um, unsafe if I was alone or uh, in the day or at night or I've never heard of any robbery or crime or anything near me so yeah I would consider it pretty safe the stats I don't know but it's safe I think that's it I think those were all the popular questions that I got asked and I think I answered them well so yeah if you have more questions uh, my Instagram you can DM me and um, yeah I hope to see you guys soon at Sussex if you like this video like comment subscribe also share it to somebody who's coming to Sussex this year